All right, I'm gonna add some cheese to this. channel but we're headed out to camp I'm gonna cook some good grub drink some cold beers so without further ado let's get it Got here and uh, probably gonna cook some food up here in just a little bit. So probably gonna mess around the camp, camp real quick, and uh, we'll get it. So stay tuned. <laughs> you can't see the flame, but it's on. <laughs> it's on. All right, we're going to go ahead and get it going, boys and girls. Listen to that fizzle already. Uh, I love doing beans at the campground. They're really filling, good for you, cheap, and it don't take long to make them. Cheers. Alright, I'm gonna add some cheese to this. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, we just got the hot ham and cheese done, so we digging in. But, uh, yeah, um, I got tired of paying those prices for those little, you know, the four stacks of wood wrapped in plastic. It seemed like that's all you're getting was like four or five pieces for like ten bucks. So, every time I went to the walking trail with my kids, I'd find limbs that were falling down by the trail. And I'd drag them in the back of my truck. 
take them home and I cut them up with my electric saw. And this is what I'm gonna do from now on so I don't have to pay those prices for, you know, four pieces of wood that's wrapped in plastic for 10 bucks, you know. And by the way, they keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. We notice. Cheers. All right. But yeah, we're doing the coffee can rocker stove again. Is that? Uh... What do you mean the last one didn't go well? No, it went after. No, it didn't. These little rocker stoves rock though because, like I said, you can conserve the wood. It builds a pretty good amount of fire, and especially for summertime when you're not building it for heat, and for uh, more like entertainment, you know. But yeah. We're out here just out here just kicking it and uh, enjoying this place. There's not a lot of people out here tonight. So we're gonna keep doing what we're doing. Check check back with you guys here in a bit. Hey guys, well got a little fire going. Just gonna let this burn down for a little bit and just kick it out here. Probably gonna let the fire burn down a little bit and then we're gonna get in the back of the truck and probably watch a movie. Well, good morning. Good cup of joe to you. We slept pretty good last night. It's pretty much perfect on uh, temperature wise because it wasn't hot, it wasn't cold. It was nice. A little bit windy today. We're all right. It's really windy out, but I'm still attempting to do breakfast still. I got the budding again. I got some uh, corned beef. These little budding packs, they, have, they work great, man. But we just got breakfast done and uh, just kind of hanging out, taking it easy by the water. Cheers. Yeah, but overall it was a real nice camp and uh, kind of sad that we had we got to leave right now, but uh, just kind of the way it is. But, um, I'm sure it's peaceful out here. Besides my kid yelling. <laughs> but yeah, I'm starting to get to the point where I like, you know, camping at creeks and rivers more than I do the actual lakes because they're just so overpopulated, you know, and I come out here to relax and get away from people, you know. And plus, you know, it's like half the cost. You know, we're I'm either looking for a free place to camp or a place that's like, you know, ten bucks to dry camp because I don't have to hook up to anybody's stuff unless it's cold and then I'll use my space heater and get electric but you know if it's not that cold then I just use my buddy heaters and like we did last night you know we kicked the buddy heater on it got a little bit chilly but not bad and I didn't even leave them on for very long and it warmed the back of the cab up and we were good and toasty but I also bought a like one of those military Excuse me. One of those military uh, wool blankets. They're pretty awesome, man. You can get them off Amazon for like 20 bucks or something like that. And uh, they're really heavy, you know. And uh, they're just nice to have for truck camping because, you know, sometimes it does get colder than you, you expect it to. And uh, you don't even have to turn a heater on if you got a wool blanket, you know. Like I said, I spent like 20 bucks on it. I'm going to get a couple more of them. 
uh, I think they're worth the price. Well, it's going to wrap things up. That concludes this episode. See you next time.